welcome to my channel so uh, i am rachel gamboa i am a travel entrepreneur and the travel industry is very close to my heart at uh, kaya ko po naisipan po na gumawa po ng video at ishare po sa inyo ang personal experience ko how i dealt with the immigration officer for the first time and what are the things i prepared and so first po is uh, I prepared my round trip tickets so I had it printed para po uh, madali pong uh, ma-check po ng officer and also my hotel reservation po is uh, also printed so um, also po for employed is uh, first uh, prepare po kayo ng certificate of employment at also yung company ID nyo tsaka yung leave form nyo para po malaman po at uh, ma-check po ng officer na hindi po kayo tumakas sa trabaho at talagang nag-leave po kayo for uh, that gala or that travel. Also, and also for self-employed or for business women po or for business people, um, i-prepare nyo po yung mga certificate po na uh, you are indulged in business and uh, if uh, also po uh, yung mga permits nyo para po may maipakita po kayo uh, if ever po hingin po ng immigration officer so talagang be prepared with the documents and next po is um, very important my travel tip as an entrepreneur as a travel entrepreneur uh, sa mga pasahero po or sa mga hindi ko pasahero sa lahat po ng tao na gusto po mag travel uh, locally man yan or international especially for, for international dapat 4 hours in advance nandun na po kayo sa airport so pagdating po ng, or pag-open po ng check-in counter for your flight. So, dapat po um, prepared na po yung tickets niya, show na po, tapos uh, bayad po kayo ng terminal uh, fee at saka po, uh, first pala po yung travel tax. So, pag yung ticket niyo po is uh, hindi pa po included yung travel tax, is magbayad po kayo dun sa, ano, um, counter po na intended for the travel tax which cost, uh, 1,620 po. And after po niyan, after nyo po mag-check-in is magbayad po kayo ng travel tax. So, depende po yun sa airport kung magkano. So, after po niyan is fill up po kayo yun yung departure card. So, write legibly and use black ink. So, may mga pens po na available po doon. But, uh, I personally suggest or highly recommended po na magdala na lang po din kayo ng uh, personal black pens black ballpoint pens so para po uh, hindi nyo po kayo maghintay po nung nag-use po ng pen para po makasave po kayo ng time at saka makaline up na din po kayo so very important po na ilagay nyo po yung um, specific address po ng uh, location po ng hotel at uh, if um, doon naman po kayo magstay sa isang family na nandun sa specific country na yun, uh, prepare po yung invitation letter. At, uh, yun po. Invitation letter ng mag invite po sa iyo na uh, family mo. Na doon ka po mag stay And so, nung time ko na po nagpumila, uh, taas-taas po ng pila. So, very uh, good thing talaga na I was there in advance. And nung turn ko na po, um, I greeted uh, the immigration officer good morning po so dapat ipakita mo yung good vibes so pinaka import, napaka importante niyan and so kapag po may tinanong po yung officer sa inyo kung ano po yung tanong yun lang po yung sagot so wag gulang at wag din sobra yung sakto lang kasi pag sinobrahan mo po yung uh, isasagot niyo po maglilid po yun ng another question na hindi sa hindi sana dapat i-question sa iyo kung hindi mo lang nasobrahan ng sagot. So dapat po talaga sakto lang yung sagot niyo. Kung ano yung sagot, kung answerable by yes or no lang po siya is uh, ganun lang din po yung isasagot niyo. And so um, answer confidently lang po yung mga itatanong po ng officer po sa inyo. Uh, kasi po ipakita niyo po sa kanila po na for people like us, uh, for leisure travelers na gusto lang talaga natin gumala sa country na yan so ipakita nyo po na confidently na gagala lang po talaga tayo at wag po kayong magbibigay ng any hints na ano uh, kung ano man yan so 
Ganun po. Um, tapos, uh, listen carefully po. Kasi, um, very important po. Uh, mag-listen carefully kasi, um, minsan kasi yung window, minsan mahina lang yung boses po ng officer. So, dapat po talaga nakatutok yung intention nyo atensyon nyo at wag, uh, wag po kayong gagamit ng phones sa harap po ng officer kasi bawal na bawal po yan and sagutin na lang po lahat ng tanong at tapat po yung mga documents nyo na possible po na hingi ng officer is dapat nasa envelope nyo po and um, para po pag uh, hiningi po ng officer is uh, matuli nyo lang po uh, makuha po so very um Isang tip po, uh, dapat po uh, lakas lang ng loob, huwag po kayong matakot, and uh, have the courage po to face the officer. Uh, huwag po kayong matakot kasi nandun lang naman po kayo, pupunta lang naman po kayo sa ibang bansa para gumala at wala naman kayong masamang intention. So, uh, hindi po talaga natin maiiwasan na maraming tanong yung uh, um, immigration officer, especially po pag first time po natin mag-travel kasi... Um, is their job po to protect us from any harm na magiging possible po pag nag-travel po tayo sa ibang bansa. So, I salute to all the immigration officers that is uh, doing their job well. And so, as passengers po, uh, it is um, our job also to answer as um, clearly and honest po sa mga tanong po nila kasi um, malalaman po nila pag hindi po kayo naging honest kasi uh, babalik-balik ta rin po nila yung tanong nila at uh, alam nyo naman na trabaho nila yun so uh, madedetect nila pag uh, you are lying talaga so um, sa mga excited na excited mag travel abroad for the first time so dapat talaga um, think positive lang good vibes uh, Uh, be confident um, your mind is so powerful po na it can control you so uh, dapat talaga ano, go lang ng go traveler mindset kakayan mo yan so lakas ng loob kaya mo yan so I hope po in this video nakatulong po ako sa inyo and please like and subscribe my channel uh, and hope to see you in my next vlog thank you